Good morning, kindergarten. Okay, let's do some calendar and then we'll read a book before journals. So I'm pointing to the month. What month is it? Do you remember? Starts with an M. May. So this month is May. That means last month must be April. And if this month is May, that means next month will be, starts with a J, 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 June. Next month will be June. Okay, so M-A-Y, that's the month, May. Now let's point to the year. What year is it? 2020, two, zero. so 2020 or 2020. Yesterday was May 5th, so what comes after 5? What would today's bit date be? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So today is May 6th, May 6th. Now we need to do the color. Our pattern this month is a color pattern, and it's red, red, blue. Red, red, blue. So that means number six today is going to be blue. Okay, so here's my blue number six. I'm going to put it in there for today, and now let's do the day of the week. So we point to the date, and we go up. Starts with a W, and W makes a wah, wah sound. So that means today is Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. What day was yesterday? Starts with a T, T, Tuesday. If today's Wednesday, what day will tomorrow be? Starts with a TH, 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 Thursday. Let's see, I put Mother's Day on our calendar here because it's Mother's Day on Sunday. Let's see how many more days until Mother's Day. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Only four more days till Mother's Day. I think you're reading some Mother's Day books with Miss Catkick and making some Mother's Day cards and talking about nice things you can do with your to, for your moms. So Mother's Day is this Sunday. It's Sunday. Okay, and then we have last day of school down here. All right, I'm going to move my arrow from Tuesday to Wednesday, and let's go over the weather. The season is spring with that I-N-G. The weather is warm and sunny. It was kind of cloudy yesterday. We're back to sunny today. So it's kind of warm in the mornings, and then the afternoons get pretty hot. Okay, I'm going to put this down a little bit so you can see the pattern. Let's do the pattern together by shape. So say the shape with me. So we have hexagons and then stars, okay? So hexagon, star, star. Hexagon, star, star. Hexagon, star, star. What kind of number pattern would that be? Can you figure out the number pattern? Let's see, the hexagon would be one. The stars would be twos. Can you figure it out? Okay, let's see together. We have one, two, two. One, two, two. One. So two, two would be next. That's a one, two, two pattern. And months of the year over here. We're going to start with the first month of the year up there. We have January, February, March. April, May is this month. Next month is June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Last month of the year, December. Okay, let's read a story and then we'll do some journals. Let's read Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. So do you remember when we were doing um, continents and social studies? Do you remember which continent this would be? Let's see, which continent do giraffes live on? What about these trees? This would be a savanna. So this would be the continent of Africa. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Uh-oh. So he's a little clumsy. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. 
And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. So all the animals of Africa are having a big dance. This sign says jungle dance. But look at Gerald. He looks really sad and worried because he thinks he's bad at dancing. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced the tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. They're all doing different types of dances. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance. Oh, Gerald. Oh, they're all making fun of him. Gerald simply froze. He was rooted to his spot. They're right, he thought, I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Oh. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up in the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're feeling different, you just need a different song. That pretty full moon. So the cricket says, and he saw everything that happened in the dance, he says, just because, you know, you dance different doesn't mean it's bad. Maybe you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass. Listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. So the cricket says if you just get real quiet and you just listen to all the sounds of nature around you, that can be pretty music. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He's dancing. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Look how happy he looks. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. There's all the other animals down below. Because remember he did that somersault in the air and it looks like they all are watching and they see him dancing. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Oh, sweet book about African animals, a fiction book about African animals, just for fun. All right, next on the schedule's journals. You can get your journal notebook out.